and it's kind of like time travel. You feel like you're traveling back into the Pleistocene in an era where there were glyptodons and giant sloths ruling South America. You know, I think that expression takes your breath away. You get that a lot here. Sometimes you, you just cannot believe how, how beautiful the world is and these natural places. I, I think in all of us, there's something of, we all have, you know, an inner child and there's something. And if you remember back to that period, what were the animals that fascinated you? All, 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 all kids are fascinated by dinosaurs, right? And here we have in front of us, you know, this prehistoric giant that's still around, that's still, that still exists. But the experience of being in front of a giant armadillo is extremely moving and nothing can replace that. So here's a species we knew very little about, few people have ever seen, and yet they play an important role in the ecosystem. We're going to go look for one of our giant armadillos called Isabel. You can see here a fresh giant armadillo burrow. She has dug this burrow, you can see the huge hole. She's down under there sleeping. And then at night she'll come out to go forage on ants and termites. At night there's a really special feeling because everything is unfamiliar. So a place you know very well, you can actually get lost in. We need to capture these animals to be able to learn more about them. And I just love the feeling, you know, everything about these animals, the smell, the size, the strength. It's really just a, a fantastic moment just to see these animals. And even now, after five years, my stomach clenches, my heart beats, races when I see one. Most of what we learned started with Isabel. If we count the white bands and gray bands, we can recognize individuals. On her head, Isabel actually has a beautiful flower. Only she has that. Isabel is, is a special armadillo for us. She was Alex's mother. So Alex was a, a giant armadillo that we have been studying since his birth. I mean, we had no idea that giant armadillos and the females were such dedicated mothers. Unfortunately, Alex was predated before we were able to finish learning about him. So we all felt devastated by Alex's loss. Um, the whole team was very, very sad to lose Alex because we were extremely attached to Alex. Um, we, we had learned so much from Alex. We just couldn't believe it had happened. It was such a dramatic end to the story. So giant armadillos are what we call ecosystem engineers. They create burrows that are used by other species. We've documented over 30 species using giant armadillo burrows. So it's a great place for species to seek refuge against the extreme temperatures of the Pantanal. And this means also that because of all the species using it, that it also attracts predators. Here's the signal. So we're gonna go, um, we're gonna search for one of our giant uh, anteaters. Since 2013, at the same time as giant armadillos, we also study giant anteaters. <laughs> Both species uh, belong to the superorder Shinarthra. Both are, um, have low metabolism, feed on ants and termites, live in the same, use, use the same habitat. This data is very important for us. We're looking for underst better understanding the giant armadillo. So, so this is also part of our work, it's very important. Um, what we're doing now is just looking at the animal, physically checking the animal, because all the data is being collected um, on, the, on the, that box you saw attached to the animal that collects GPS points, so exact locations of where the animal is. Did you hear that? There's an animal inside. 
uh, this is it's a, this is a, a six-banded armadillo. So when we say giant armadillos provide homes for other species, this is it. Look, here he is. Very cool. And every day is very different. That's what it, that's what it's exciting and what's what keeps it fresh. Every day we see something new, we learn something new, we see new things. We go through extreme floods or extreme droughts. It might seem that we live an adventurous life. I think the Pantanal is a great example of a place where man lives in, in harmony with nature. And I really like that. I really like that feeling. To all the zoos and aquariums that have so altruistically supported this great project to learn more about the giant armadillo, many, many thanks from all of us who are interested in the wild creatures of this planet.